At the beginning of the COVID pandemic, there was an increased call of support for teachers and the education system as a whole. But since COVID cases have started to go down, so has the calls for this support, even though the impacts of COVID can still be felt across it today. In early 2020, physical classrooms got replaced with virtual spaces and in-person lectures got replaced with pre-recorded PowerPoint presentations. The technology issue was huge, um, not enough tech uh, for um, what was needed for, from all the family members. This impact can be felt by teachers and students alike. It kind of sucked the first semester where we were 100% online. It was just, I mean, I didn't leave my apartment. It was pretty brutal. One study shows that this impact was felt hardest by teachers who have a more on-hand style of education or subject matter. The biggest issue primarily was communication to the parents, um, what was expected from them, um, how to encourage them. Platforms have changed, a lot more paperwork has changed. It also showed that students claimed that their academic performance suffered through the course of the COVID pandemic. Long term, at this rate, I don't even know if I'm going to graduate. <laughs> it's so bad. Honestly, right now I have a lot of kids who, um, they were really bad at turning things in before. They're even worse now. This has led to most students in America being five to four months behind in their education, according to some studies. But the impact is not just educational. The impact is also psychological. It's easy to become depressed. Um, and I've seen that a lot in students, and I've also seen students um, in the student body become more anxious about thing, the things that they're doing. Psychosocial, uh, that's a huge, that's been a huge change. Um, trying to work through the kids' fears, alleviate concerns and worries. It just carried a lot of continued, lingered effects and impact. One study consisting across 15 countries uh, found a prevalence of about 30% of students suffering from symptoms of PTSD. This impact can mostly be seen through the mass exodus of teachers from the education system. Because of COVID, a lot of the professors wanted to be more online and focus a lot of their course material online, and the university was challenging that and saying, well, no, we need to do in-person, hands-on. And so a lot of the professors for the IT and cybersecurity department backed off. And that means there's only a few sections for each course. While the reason behind the decrease in focal support for teachers in the education system is still up for debate, what isn't up for debate is that the impacts of COVID are still being felt today and deserve our attention. <laughs>